to the channel. Thank you for always coming back to watch the video. In case you're new here, my name is Jade. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here with Lillian. We're coming live from Uganda, Africa. We are going to be sharing with you different ways how bread breast is made according to different tribes. So, guys, as in Uganda, we have uh, Western region, Central region, Eastern region, mm -hmm. and Northern region, and all those regions practice bread differently. There are those that charge higher, there are those that charge less, there are those yeah. like. So, we are going to be telling you each of them how they do carry it out. So in the Western region, when you want to marry a girl, you can pay in form of money or in form of animals, which are cows. It is not a must that you have to pay what they ask you. You have to negotiate and tell them what you can actually afford. If you want to marry the daughter in the Western region and you don't have bright price, you can negotiate with the parents and they tell you to go and do it for it. Eh? They cannot force you to pay it when you don't have it. You can just leave, go look for it, and then you pay it in the future. Right? It is just that flexible. Guys, in case you, you, you take the girl to, to your family and stay with her before visiting her family, and in the future, you have to go to her family, they will find you. You have to pay a big good for that before you can sit down with them and negotiate for bread price. That will be the first, first thing. They can't talk to you before you bring that animal in the girl's home. Because you're not supposed to stay with their daughter without letting them know. And it shows the girl's family that you, dis you disrespected them and you disrespected their daughter by taking her to your home and you didn't even bother to go and see where she comes from. That's why they have to find you and you pay that big, big god. Otherwise, if you went to her family before staying with her, they wouldn't really find you. They would just tell you what they want, the terms and conditions, and that would be understandable to them. That at least you came home, you know where she comes from, and they also know who took their daughter at least, or where their daughter is. We're now going to central region of Uganda. In Baganda, uh, when a girl is getting married, the man can bring Tomatoes, they actually consider food stuff. Yeah, yes, yes, food stuff and made money. Yes, yes, yeah. So you don't have to, to, to bring in cows, goats, no, they don't want that. For them, you bring cabbages, just food. Then you take the daughter with you and you go. Yeah. My son, region of Uganda, for them again, they're almost like the western part of Uganda, but then for them they are doing more. They also give cows, okay? But for them, they have this thing like they mostly consider of material medication as a daughter. Mm. Okay? So they put at their back the money they have spent on her. Okay. And I respect how is their daughter and the responsibility of their daughter. Okay. She's a well behaved girl, mm. and of course they will put that there. Mm. So they will first tell you that how the cows they want. Okay. Then the goats. Mm. They also want the sheep. Mm. Yes. But there's this thing like it's tradition. Mm. Maybe we agree they're giving us 20 cows. Yes. 15 goats. Yes. From those 15 goats, you're going to add us one in your coat. Which, mm. after us living in a boy's place, you're going to go home and like, mm. do like a roasting for the whole people mm. around my neighbors to okay. eat. And celebration, eh? Yes, celebration. Okay. Yes. And also, you're supposed to add mm. one sheep for escorting them, mm. those cows, mm. when you're taking them. I don't take that sheep, the, the, the girl's family. Yes, the girl's family. But yeah, they have to do oh, wow. the cows. Yeah. Okay. But then they also have the thing in case you take their daughter, mm. in case maybe we met her, we her, and you know, and you have not yet given us anything, and of course give you a fine. Yes. Yes. Okay. They'll give you a fine of that. Before so, the negotiation for, for that, they will first tell you to bring for that. Okay. Then also they will ask you for some amount of money mm. and you have to give them. Mm. And by then for us, you know, for this thing like 
the guy comes to introduce himself to the Lord wow. for the first time. Mm. Please, even if you have no room for eating, you mm. mm. don't eat. Mm. You can't have this dream of like when the when they are, they are mm-hmm. the daughter, the daughter's husband visits them for the first time yes. and they cook for him to eat and you won't marry the daughter. Oh, yeah. He will eat, end up eating the food and he doesn't take the daughter. He will not marry the daughter. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, for us, the first time for the guy to come in our family, we will eat anything else than we eat anything as I told, they have that belief in them mm. when a man is taken in their God's home before marrying her, mm. they won't marry her. Mm. Okay. Like they will separate. Okay, yeah. it's a belief in them. Okay, so actually, the man will not eat that chicken. Mm. Or you can eat the cook for you, other things, mm. beef, mm. what, but mm. no chicken. Mm. Yeah, okay. Well, they will just get for you, carry to your place, mm. you cook from there. Mm. You give it yeah. to the man, he takes it to his home and cooks yeah, from outside. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. In the Western region, well, if you come and you visit them, they cook for you any kind of meat. Chicken, what? It doesn't matter. You are a special visitor to our family, so we will come to you. And one thing with them, mm. you are taking their daughter, mm. you have not paid very price, mm. and to make things worse, mm. you have not introduced to some the other's family. Mm. They will not look at you as a responsible man, no. and trust me, you will not gain respect from their family. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. I think that pride is in every tribe. Yeah. Because yeah. as long as you are supposed to pay bride price, you, and you don't pay it, you don't look at responsible yeah. person to them. Don't to them. And you think you're, you're minimizing, you're minimizing them. them. Yeah. Yeah. Yet you're not minimizing them, actually you don't have money, but you never explain to them that you did not have the money or the cows to give them, and maybe they could sympathize with you. You cannot cut out any wedding before you pay a bride price, because they will not give you that consent even if you beg them how to, the girl's family would allow you to wait their daughter before you pay bread price. So guys, in the north, Lillian is going to tell us how they do it. Yeah. The north comprises so the Achori, the Langi, the, the Rukbaras. Yeah, that's the northern part of Uganda. So she's going to tell us how it is practiced. Let's go it. Mm-hmm. It's like for them, the bride price is between shillings of three and five m. They're mm. supposed to give. Guys, three and five m is around one thousand dollars to one thousand five hundred US dollars. Yeah. In case the girl comes from a royal family, mm. then a groom is supposed to take the bangles, mm. the skin of the leopard, yes. and the beads for the girl. The royal family. Yes, the royal okay. family. Then it gets the woman had an abnormal bag. Mm. They are supposed to take a white hand, mm. then the sheep mm. for their marriage rituals. So what happens if a man doesn't pay bride price to the girl's family? Of course, you know, sometimes some families consider mm. if the man has not given them bride price, mm. they will consider that has not yet what? Mm. Their son in law is not yet a mm. husband. Mm. Yes. Okay. That's why in some tribes, mm. if you are to produce with your daughter mm. and you have not yet given bride price, mm. they, will, they will first charge you the bride price, mm. but in that, mm. they will add another one for mm. the kids you produced. Okay. Before your what? Mm. Pay their bride price. Okay. Yes. So they will find you in other words. They will find yes. Okay. What if a girl goes and stays with a man, and God forbid, the girl dies at the man's family? family. What happens? First of all, the girl will die at the boy's family. Mm. You have not married her. Mm. The first thing you're going to have an argument. Mm. The girl's family will be like, no, we will not come and don't tell you about the bad hour mm. at our place. Yes. You didn't watch, mm. marry her yet. Okay. Yes. Okay. So there will be that argument mm. because I'm not yet forced to you as their son in law. Mm. So for you, mm. you can use your heart like 
as they are away, mm. I can appreciate you the gift I will just have. Mm. Let me give them time for you. Yeah. Because they sacrifice their daughter, mm. I will stay with her for some time. Mm. Yeah. In some tribes, when a man marries a girl without paying bride price, when that girl dies, they demand for the body and also they make you, they, they, they fine you for that. You have to pay a very, very big fine for that and you must pay it. So, you know, when you get some heartless people mm -hmm. who don't really mm -hmm. accept their fine, mm -hmm. at least they will, like, they will wish for it also that was to happen to you. Mm -hmm. Or they may even do revenge on their family. Mm -hmm. Because now they put blame all on you, like mm. you're responsible for their daughter is dead. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Guys, they can even say you're the one who killed their daughter because you never showed responsibility mm -hmm. at the beginning. So, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Kindly consider subscribing, share this video, like, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video, guys. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye bye bye.